Hi everyone, in today's video I'm going to transition my May fragrance tray over to my June fragrance tray. Now as you can see I just use a simple cake stand. This is one that is part of my dinnerware collection. It's something that I think is absolutely beautiful. It's classic. It's appealing and I do keep this tray in my bathroom. Now I know many fragrance lovers know that you know that's not an area we should keep our fragrances but for me it's something that works for me. It's convenient. Um, I don't plan to store them there for very long and just having been in the business these fragrances are actually stored in warehouses um, where there's not control over AC um, units. So anyway, this is where I keep my fragrances. I display them in my bathroom. They're aesthetically pleasing to me and it's something that I really enjoy seeing and just experiencing throughout the month. All right, let's go ahead and get started. For those of you who are new here, my name is Velma and my channel is mainly about um, fragrance reviews. I do fragrance reviews or just my opinions on women's fragrances, men's fragrances, and then I'll do an occasional lifestyle or anti-aging. Um, I'm part of the Over 50 Club, so you may see some videos on skincare and anti-aging uh, routines. If you are new, please consider subscribing to my channel, hit that notification bell, and uh, give this video a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. So as you can see, my fragrance display, I have some various sizes. Sometimes I will buy a full size, sometimes I will buy something smaller. It just depends on the notes in the fragrance and whether or not I think it's something I'm really going to enjoy. If it's something that I'm on the fence about, it's something that I'm not quite sure about, I may go ahead and try a smaller size first before investing in something um, a little more expensive. Um, the first one here on my May's fragrance tray is Flower Bomb by Victor and Roth. Flower Bomb is a beautiful vanilla sweet and powdery fragrance. This one here um, really was a joy to wear during this time and I really loved the floral sweet powdery aspect to it. So this one here is going to be um, something that I probably will revisit from time to time, but um, it was on my May's fragrance tray. Victor and Roth Flower Balm. The next one that was on my May's fragrance tray is a beautiful white floral, citrus, fresh and vanilla fragrance by um, Hermes. And this is Twilly de Hermes. Twilly de Hermes is a beautiful, beautiful fragrance. It's one that is perfect for springtime. Um, it is in this cute little bottle. I just absolutely love the little detailing here. Um, and if you know Hermes fragrances, the quality of this fragrance is outstanding. You're going to get longevity from this. You're going to get moderate projection. And the part that I loved most about this fragrance during uh, the month of May was the ginger aspect to it. When it first opens up, it is a beautiful, fresh, and a light, spicy ginger, um, has a light, spicy ginger to it. And then the bitter orange, and there's um, bergamot in this. So it gives it a refreshing type of feeling to it. And as it settles down and it dries down, you start to experience the tuberose and the orange blossom and jasmine. 
once it dries down completely the vanilla and the sandalwood in here is just beautiful and creamy Twilly de Hermes was one of my favorites this month all right so the next one that was on my tray um, is and if you know me I've talked about this fragrance multiple times this one here is Flora by Gucci and Flora by Gucci um, is a beautiful fragrance that is floral citrus it has a little bit of freshness and rose to it just has a very very light refreshing citrus aspect to it and then as it dries down it has a creamy but subtle light woodiness to it this one here is flora by gucci and this particular uh, variation is the edt the edt wears very very well on the skin you'll get a good amount of longevity and it's one that i absolutely love all right the next one that i want to talk to you about is another one of my favorites look at this gorgeous bottle here this one here let me get this so you can see and please excuse my nails obviously i am in between sessions here um, i haven't had a chance to go get my appointment so i apologize for that this is ellie Saab le parfum rose couture this is an absolute gorgeous fragrance. I absolutely loved it in April and May. It's just a beautiful rose floral fragrance um, that is soft, it's creamy, it's not harsh or offensive. It's perfect for any time of day. I actually enjoyed wearing this quite a bit during the evenings after I got out of the shower. This here was perfect for bedtime. And a lot of times I will keep this on my little tray um, that sits on my nightstand for bedtime. This is one of my all time favorites. This is a high quality fragrance by Ellie Saab. Um, if you haven't tried it, and you like rose fragrances, this is just completely elegant, feminine, and a beautiful floral. Ellie Saab Le Parfum Rose Couture. The next one that worked out really well for the month of May was Coach Dreams. I think this bottle is so precious. I love the very, very pale pink. I don't know if you can see that on camera. The sweet pale pink juice is so pretty. I love the detailing here on the ribbon and then the cute flower on the top. Absolutely adorable. And this one here, um, just so you know, sprays from this little flower. If you can see the atomizer spritzer here is where it disperses and dispenses the fragrance. So you don't need to take off anything. This is the cap and you just spray it as is. All right. It's a beautiful white floral fragrance. It's fruity. It's sweet. Oh my goodness, I absolutely love this. There is a lactonic aspect to this fragrance. It's very light and creamy, it's fresh. The dry down's a little musky and it worked out perfectly for the month of May. And I'm sure many of you know this bottle. If you are a fragrance lover, this is an iconic, gorgeous Dolce Gabbana fragrance. Dolce Garden. Dolce Garden is a beautiful coconut floral vanilla fragrance. It's tropical in its juice. It has an almond and lactonic and nutty aspect to it as well. 
and it is one I thoroughly enjoy. I may keep this on my June tray. We'll see if it fits, but this one is a gorgeous fragrance if you haven't tried it. Um, it is a love for me and it is long wearing and it is absolutely wonderful. This one, Dolce Gabbana Garden. This one here, everyone who is a perfume star mall, everyone who is a perfume de Marley fan knows this beautiful bottle. This one here is Delina. This one here is Delina La Rose. This one is so pretty. This is a beautiful, fresh, aquatic fruity floral, primarily of rose, but there is a citrus and a tropical aspect to this as well. For me, I absolutely love this variation of Delina. I have tried Delina. I have tried Delina exclusive and La Rose is just perfect for me. This is just the one, this is the one that I adore. This is the one that I love. I know many of you love the Delina exclusive and I think during the fall months is perfect for that. But during the hotter months, especially where I live, this one here is just perfect for this time of year. This is Delina by Parfums de Marly La Rose. The next one that was on my tray and will continue to be um, probably on every tray of the entire year. This one here is Olympia or Olympia, as I like to say, um, by Paco Rabanne. This is a beautiful salty white floral that has a vanilla and amber aspect to it, but it also has this gorgeous balsamic and marina as well. It is so elegant. It is so beautiful. It is a very, very long wearing, long lasting fragrance. This is one that I will smell on my body, on my clothes the next morning. And I say the next morning because I also love to wear this at bedtime. This is one that I wear. It's a signature fragrance for me. It is a love, love. And if you haven't tried it, if it's not in your collection, you must get your, yourself a bottle. This one here is backup bottle worthy. I absolutely love Olympia by Paco Rabanne. This here fragrance is new to my collection. Um, this is a discontinued um, fragrance by Giorgio Armani. C. Fiori is a beautifully done, powdery, musky rose fragrance that has a vanilla and fruity aspect to it. This one here is just creamy, it's perfect for any time of day. I loved wearing this. This past month, I was able to wear it to a bridal shower. I was able to wear it to brunch. I was able to wear it to work. And I also love to wear this at nighttime. This, when the nights were a little bit rainier and dewier, and we had a little bit of a rainstorm. I just love to put on this cozy creaminess fragrance at night. It just worked out wonderfully and I love it. And I don't know if you can see it because this one is an opaque bottle, but the juice is pretty much used for a brand new fragrance. I loved and enjoyed it very much. This one was C. Fiore by Giorgio Armani. All right, I just have a couple more left to talk about before we move on. 
You know I love the perfumer Alberto Morias. Um, he, it just, it just, it's just very interesting. I, I guess I need to just kind of go through my collection and see how many of my fragrances were actually developed by him because it doesn't matter whether it's men's or women's fragrances. If he is the perfumer, I'm going to love that fragrance. Everything he puts out is absolutely gorgeous. And this one here is Flower by Kenzo flanker poppy bouquet this one is a white floral that is made up of rose and it has an aquatic woody lactonic aspect to it it is milky and sweet it is dewy and fresh and it is a perfect beautiful floral for this time of year May, this one worked out so beautifully. Another one I love to wear any time of day, but especially during the daytime, especially at night for bed. All right, so my next one, what a heavy hitter she is. Madison Avenue Bond Number no. 9. Look at this gorgeous bottle. Oh my goodness, it's heavy weighted. It is absolutely stunning. It's a beautiful pink, and I love the detailing of the black bow. This one here is a fruity, sweet rose floral that is a sheep floral. It is absolutely wonderful i love the apple and blackberry the bergamot and a slight bit of magnolia with a little bit of patchouli in the dry down it is just beautiful this is a stunner this is one you're going to carry to the evening time this is date night worthy this one here is boss babe this one is absolutely gorgeous. Bond number nine, Madison Avenue. And the last one on my tray, and I saved this one for last. Um, I had always been one to want and crave this fragrance. I really did. I love the bottle. I love the detailing of it. I love the sweet bow. It was something that Santa had given to me um, last year. And this one here is my Burberry blush. Now, for me, this month it has been a like for me. This hasn't been a love for me. There are parts of it that I really like, but on the dry down, there's just something about it that's a little bit tart, a little bit sour, and I'm not quite sure that, I don't know, I think I just need to give it more wear time, maybe try it out during this time of year a little bit more, give it a little bit more looks. It's not one that I reached for very often, even though it was a love of mine in the very beginning. So this one here is my Burberry Blush All right, everyone, so that wraps up my May tray collection, and I'm gonna transition those out and transition my June fragrance tray in, and then we'll talk about those um, as we go along.